most Oregonians want is a multiple-use approach. And we need policies that promote it. For example, in this recent budget, the one that just passed this last week, we got uh, about $100 million more for hazardous fuels reduction. That's hugely important for, for example, the Deschutes National Forest to go in there and thin out those overstock stands. The Deschutes National Forest right here in this community is really a model for the kind of collaboration that we need in terms of forestry. And that money is going to be very useful on both the west side and uh, the east side. So Brian's been very helpful in the hunters and anglers. It's wonderful. Once again, demonstrating the point you're talking about is recreation, the outdoors, and hunters and anglers and families going hiking. Yes, it's in our chromosomes because we're Oregonians. We treasure the outdoors. It is a big economic engine. Recreation nationally is a $646 billion economic uh, engine. That's an awful lot of goods and services that multiply in a hurry throughout a community. And as I say, during the shutdown, a lot of the places that weren't open, their economy took a big hit and took a big hit in a hurry. 